Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to the Dresden Files Cooperative Card Game. Now, before we get going, guys, I want to give some props to a longtime viewer of the channel, Vosseros, who took it upon himself to purchase all the DLC for me for this game. Um, I very much appreciate it, boss. Thank you very much. So, if you guys remember, we had several books that were available in the game locked to us, as well as characters. Now we have all the books unlocked, and the game goes up to, I believe, Turncoat. Yes, indeed. And joining our um, roster of characters is Thomas Wraith, Waldo Butters, Sonia, Molly Carpenter, Carlos Ramirez, Anastasia Lucio, and Mouse. Mouse the Mighty, who was one of my favorite characters. So thank you very much, Phosphoros. I will try not to let you down. And with that... Let's uh, fight some werewolves, guys. We are moving on to the second book in the series, Full Moon. And we're going to go with Harry, Karen, who was in the original, in the starting books, Karen is more of a frenemy, and it's sometimes more an enemy than a friend. And Billy and Georgia, who were introduced in Full Moon, uh, will be joining us. We played um, with them in the first episode. We were kind of learning the ropes. Let's uh, see what happens. And that was a lot of red. What do we got here? Uh, let's look at the villains first. Escape Street Wolves. When defeated, remove one clue from any one case. Fight Street Wolves. Alright. FBI Hexen Wolves. Eight hits. Loop Guru at Precinct. Cannot receive hits until Lunar Cycle is overcome. And Loop Guru at Marcones cannot receive hits until Lunar Cycle is overcome. So there's two of them now. We dealt with the Toad Demon in the last one. Now we have two to deal with. Um, cases. Which Wolf is which? Full Moon. Who set up McFinn? Nine clues, seven clues. Rescue Marcone. Harry's investigate cards used on this case are minus one clue. Wonderful. That is... that sucks. <laughs> Alright, and our... we have arrest warrant. And there's Karen with Harry, kind of proving my point from earlier. Until this obstacle is overcome, all attacks are minus one hit. And lunar cycle hits cannot be added to either loop guru foe. Now let's look at our advantages. When taken, active player draws two cards. Add, add two clues to which wolf is which. Oh, that's nice. Um, cannot take until at least one case has been solved. When taken, adds one hit to all foes. Collect three, potentially five fates. Very, very different game than uh, Stormfront. Harry only has one attack card. That's Pyro Fuego. Consult with Bob. Add two clues to all cases in one row. And there's only three cases. Private Investigator. This is one of those for those AoE attacks I don't think are going to be that particularly helpful. Um, Soul Gaze. The Blue Beater. Or Beater. The Blue Beetle to overcome. And take one advantage. So at least we can grab that one right off the bat. Let's see what Billy and Georgia have. Now, they have the... When you discard for uh, fate points, you may hit add one hit to the foe at the longest range. Fortunately, the Guru are up here, so they can just discard and add hits to these guys. And um, with five hits, these are a little bit squishy. What do you have for your... Oh, as your turn, flip this card over to add one hit to all foes that have at least one hit. Two attack cards. One investigate. Lupine Leap. Take Advantage. And Gaming Soup. Or Gaming Group. I don't know why I said Soup there. So they have Take Advantage cards that we can sack. That's good. And what about you, Karen? Two Attack cards. We're going to be pretty frugal with our Attack cards. Investigation. Kevlar Vest and Call for Backup. So we have, all of us have stuff to take advantage. So that's very interesting to me. Let's go with...
let's go with Harry first. The reason I say this is that Harry's ability allows us to move advantages and obstacles, but they're all up close. So there's really no reason for Harry to discard unless we desperately need fate points. So we'll use Ventus Servitus. Active player draws two cards. Excellent. Now, we have... What was that other one to overcome? Did anyone have overcome fate cards? And what did Harry pull? Oh, he had the blue beetle. Okay, well, I guess... I don't even know if we want to take on the Loop Guru, though. It worked really well before not touching the Invincible guys, and they have a lot of hits. Look at that. Ten hits, nine hits. I'll tell you what, let's start adding some hits right off the bat. Um, we can't even touch that Alphas to the Rescue until a case has been solved. So let's... Take one advantage... Oh, no, 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 not that one. Yoink. We'll sack this. And add one hit to the foe with the longest range. I guess that would be... Actually, with that, Harry could kill those guys right off with a blasting rod. That's pretty awesome, actually. Um... Take advantage... Let's sack this one, the Kevlar Vest. That'll add a clue to rescue Marconi. Now, what are we going to do here? We've got infinite range. Potentially four hits at a range of three. The ranges are going to be an issue, I'm thinking for sure. Let's, let's use the Blue Beetle first off. I'm gonna deal with the Arrest Warrant. And that takes care of that issue. Now all of these attack cards are unfortunately out of range. Hmm. You know what we're gonna do? Let's use the Lupine Leap. We'll spend a fate for that. That puts the escaped street wolves into range of a lot of our abilities. And this is four, potentially two hits. Four hits at a range of one. That's not going to work. So let's discard surprise Aikido move. Oh, we rolled negative on the fate, so... We'll keep on adding clues. That helps. Um, Private Investigator, 3 range for Fuego, let's go with that, nah it hits for 3, still, we could kill either of those very quickly. This attack may not be used if it will not defeat a, a foe. Gaming group take advantage. We're gonna sack this one. Wait, 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 wait. May trigger a showdown. Add one hit. We could go ahead and use the Hexen Wolves there. Now, we'll save this one. We'll save the call for backup. We actually complete a case. So, let's do... Two clues here. Well, actually, for let's use Dead Eye Shot. It's a range of three. If the attack defeats target foe, add two hits to any one foe. We'll do still. That kills the escape street wolves. Pick a K. Oh, boo. 
forgot about that. We'll put it there. Add a foe to receive two. Let's do that with the Hexen Wolves. They're almost in Blasting Rod range for Harry. Two hits. Let's go ahead and sack... Hmm. We're gonna have to discard something um, with the Alphas, and then Harry can Blasting Rod. So that'll be pretty awesome. Let's discard Pyro Fuego, since we're not gonna hit anyone in a row. And we can move one obstacle, but I don't really want to. Okay, Billy and Georgia. Let us do two fate with a range. We'll sack flanking attack. That'll add another hit to the Hexen Wolves. Now we can hit, hit them with the Blasting Rod. Which is awesome! Um, let's try in the no. Actually, this would be a good time to use uh, Karen's ability. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we get one FP or uh, fate point for each foe with hits and each case with clues on it. So that'll give us four. And we're almost maxed out on our fate. Uh, I think it's Blasting Rod time, guys. So we'll use that stunt and kill the FBI Hexen Wolves. Three foes remaining. No cases solved. Yosa. Um, four clues. Ooh! This investigation may only, or may only be used if it will not solve the target case. Sure, we can do that. Oh, now they'll be take a huge chunk out of that one, though. Um... Let's do... Let's do track scent. We need to... Get some legs on some of this. Karen. You're the only one with a take advantage card, though, unfortunately. Let's do two clues, five clues, or excuse me, that's that's fate, that's not clues, I need to remember that. It could go, that could be very cheap or very costly. It's just going to have to depend on what we roll. Let's do, hmm, no change, so three fate, two clues gonna make it easier for us if we have to do a showdown though so that that is something actually let's consult with Bob add two clues to all cases in one row that's not really going to help Harry because the rescue Marcone we're gonna go ahead and sack this and I'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna move alphas to the rescue over here, because Karen's card has a two range. We can still take that advantage, and Harry has a really nasty investigation card that should take that one out. And this one does five hits. This attack may only be used if it will not defeat the target foe. Ooh. What's everyone else's cards at? Hold on. We've got an investigation. Harry only has one attack card. That's not going to work. We're not going to be able to take on the loop guru at all. Let's sack this. Add one hit to the street wolves. Huzzah! And investigate five fate, range of three. Or, yeah, range of three. Potential. Ooh. We could actually clear this one. Yes. I like it. That's one. 
and then pick a case to receive three. Let's do it to that one. Because Harry has this one, which is five clues, like, right off the bat. But we have two clues guaranteed with a range of one. So, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and roll that. Doesn't really matter. For four. Oh, I, I did it again. Crap. I keep on looking at the fate and thinking that that's how many clues it gets. I actually just messed up something fierce. I still have an unused stunt. Oh, I do, don't I? Let's go ahead and flip that and it'll do damage to the lowly street wolves. Well, Harry's the only one with a damage card right now, so don't think it's going to help much. Call for backup. Yeah, we're going to have to... We can't take advantage of that. That's one hit to all foes anyway. Add one clue. We've got five. And a range of one. That's all we can do. So, for six... We actually could have solved uh, Rescue Marconi on that. It's alright. That's three foes remaining. And case is solved. And that's all we can do right now. Because Harry's card has a range of one. That's it. We got to... It's showdown time. I'm ready. Okay, so for one fate, we will do one... This is kind of a Hail Mary, actually. So our one fate will go toward taking on the Street Wolves. Add two. Nice. And we have zero fate. All we can do is hope for a lucky roll there. Add two to rescue Marcone. Seven. Two foes, two cases solved. That was really close, though. But I think I know how exactly we're going to do this. I like the concept of leaving the Guru alone and just focusing on the binkies and the cases. So I think we're going to go ahead and try that next time. Uh, it's, that's a very fun um, deck to play, though, for sure. So we will go ahead and see what happens when we try Full Moon Round 2. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.